Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's Friday and it is minus 40 outside. <laughs> I'm not leaving the house. Keenan and I knew it was going to be cold this weekend so we planned ahead. So yesterday I went and got a bunch of supplies for snacks and junk food and then he's going to come over later tonight and we're going to just hunker down for the weekend and not leave the house. But it is my day off, being Friday, and now I'm just kind of sitting around with nothing to do because it's so cold outside that I'm... Sorry, I keep touching my nose, it's so dry, it's so like... because of the cold. Because I have nothing to do today, my day feels like I'm on the edge of a cavernous pit and I don't know where to start or what to do with myself. So I figured my to-read pile post-Christmas is atrocious atrocious i really need to start getting through that and then i just keep reading on my kindle app like the kindle unlimited i keep just kind of reading trashy romance novels rather than getting through my horrendous pile <laughs> so i'm still currently getting through eve by kat bohannon and it is very good it is very dense so i do like to have like a non-fiction book on the go at the same time as a fiction book my eyes look very aggressive today it might have been a bit dark underneath. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I've got so many books just staring at me to the point. I keep all my to read books, I'll actually show you, in like this cubicle. But the cubicle is double layered and now completely full and I now have another pile beside my television. So safe to say, too many. If they've, if they've outgrown the cubicle, there's a problem. I really should read something today, or at least start one of these books. But I could just read a trashy romance novel. No, I should. I should get through. Do I have any in like copies, physical copies of trashy romance novels? Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm like excited to read? Because sometimes that kind of sways what I want to read. That's in my pile already. So, for example. The new Cassandra Clare book is out. I think it's called Swordcatcher. I really want to read that. However, I have a rule that I have to get through at least five of these books before I buy a new book now because of the size of this pile. That's a new discipline that I'm implementing. But the new book Swordcatcher is out and I do actually have the last Shadowhunters book that was released last year, this year, that I still haven't finished. So maybe I'll read that. Or I could read a nice contemporary. That might make me cry, actually. Something to update you guys on. One of my first books of 2024. I have no words. Um, I only have pictures of what I look like upon finishing this book, which I will input here. <gasps> it was so good. It was so good. The way it was written from the get-go was like, I was already aching and ready to cry just like I knew what I knew uh, oh it was brilliant it was brilliant I have no other words I'm not even going to attempt to try to review that everyone's heard of it by now if you haven't read it get on it yeah so today I'm gonna just kind of go through a really boring day at home probably read should read try and convince myself Otherwise, I'll probably end up just watching a bit of TV. I haven't actually watched any TV either. I've been going to bed so early. I go to work, come home, journal, sometimes FaceTime Keenan, and then I'm in bed and asleep before 8 p.m., which has actually been pretty awesome, but I haven't been like watching TV or reading very much. So maybe I'll watch TV. Who knows? I'll take you along and then we'll go through this weekend together and stay warm.
okay just like a random little interlude because I'm bored <laughs> I think if it was like any other day where I was just like having a day all nothing leaving the house I probably would be fine but I think it's the idea that I can't leave the house that's making me contrary and bored um also it's hair wash day later so ignore this but I'm usually like I love my Morphe Soul Matte or the Fenty Beauty, what is this one? Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain in Strawberry Sangria. Those are like my go-tos, but I got the Revlon like rum raisin because everyone and their mother was talking about it and it's actually like really nice and it's like a little bit darker in the morning so I was like oh when I first put it on but it also it fades so nicely like it's not kind of sticking to the outsides or anything it's just like a subtle like going in not too matte not too glossy really like that and also oh, where is it I got this makeup by Mario palette it is the master mattes I've never actually had any makeup from makeup by Mario but I've been enjoying kind of playing around with eyeshadow again and this was just like it's a little bit boring but it was exactly what I wanted um just like the neutrals yeah I think it's perfect it's got like all of the warmer tones which I think work better with my eyes they make them look a lot more blue bring them out a little bit more than the cooler tones depending on the cool tones I guess I don't know um like I know what I'm talking about but yeah this is that and today I went a little bit darker than I usually do which I don't usually like bringing it down under my eyes. I usually keep it all to like the top. I think when I bring stuff down, I look a little bit more raccoonish, and I did today. And I think I just proved my point. I'm definitely more of like, I like it above, I think below. I have really thick lashes either side. So I think it's just like a little bit too, too crowded when I put it below. So <laughs> anyways, that's a little interlude of some makeup that I've been enjoying right now. Okay, we've got dinner here, we've got some sourdough toast with some butter on there, and then some lentil curry with these tomatoes, which just burst in your mouth. They're so lovely. And yeah. Okay, it's just after seven. I have showered, washed my hair. I actually styled my bangs for the first time in weeks. I've been kind of doing side bang lazy with them, but thought I'd give it a go. And then I just want to wait until my hair dries most of the way. And then I want to put those heatless curlers in to sleep in overnight and see how it goes. The last few times my hair has been too wet when I've gone to bed in them. So they just like kind of fall out as soon as I take the heatless curlers out. So yeah. We'll see. Hopefully it'll go better. I might fall asleep before my hair gets to that point of dry, so it might be a bit messy anyways, but I just thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> now I think I'm just gonna like keep being lazy. It's gonna work out today, but I think I slept funny because I've like pulled something in my back, which really hurts. <laughs> so today would have been the ideal day to do like an at-home workout, but alas, looked like a horizontal day for me. update on what I chose to read was actually Chain of Thorns in the end. Um, I started this when it came out, like, I don't remember if it was 2023 or 2022, but I started it and never finished, so picked it back up. It's awesome. I love Cassandra Clare. I've been reading her books since I was like 
12 with City of Bones. <laughs> and I just have never stopped. She will come out with more Shadowhunter books and I will keep reading them. Um, I've actually been like scrolling a lot more than I usually do, which I don't love. However, um, both yesterday night and tonight, I have ended up sobbing at my phone. Yesterday, it was a video of a duck who loves racing. And they got him in a marathon and he had little duck running shoes. Oh, it was very cute. And then today I found this Instagram account and it was um, this artist who basically draws pictures for people who've lost someone. So it's like, and including them in big moments. So for example, it was a woman who'd lost her brother and adding him into like the wedding photos. And then another one was a man who'd lost his mum and drawing her in to meeting his daughter who she never got to meet and oh i'm a mess i'm a mess um so yeah i've been crying um but now i'm gonna read and actually like relax and not be on my phone because i i hate it <laughs> the mindless scrolling and dislike you know what i mean just kind of content for content's sake i have people i like to follow but as soon as i end up on like the explore or for you pages not my thing but anyways yeah i think Keenan's coming over he's very late so i hope he drives safe and is on his way because i've kind of just been waiting i feel like that's why i was scrolling because i was like oh he said he'll be here by then and he wasn't so then i was like oh well i can't start doing something because then he'll be here and i won't finish what i want to do do you ever get that like time decision paralysis that's that's me but yeah Anyways, <laughs> big waffle. Um, a very, very boring day. I have yet to do my hair because it's still very, very wet. It's been like two and a half hours and it's still too wet to put in curlers. But actually, it's kind of like got a nice wave to it right now. It's just not, it's very, um, let's call it French because it's not like stylized. But it's got like a bit of a kick. But I still want to make it look a little bit more put together with the curls. I don't know why I'm still talking. Okay, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. We <laughs> got. I forgot to put my hair in the colors. Yeah. Oops. Oh, it's this is how Alfie stays warm oh. with his little boots and jacket. <laughs> Mom is making us brunch. Yeah. a bit sick after all that food i was feeling sick before the food i thought it would help oh i did not oh. <laughs> you look like you're dying i am dying <laughs> what? that was so dark <laughs> Just starting Harry Potter part one for Deathly Hours, and there's been a power cut, so we now have extra blankets, and the fire is on, and hopefully it doesn't last very long. So I don't think Keenan can survive without Wi-Fi. Mm. Well, I got five G. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. It's so funny. I can read lots. What would you do? Would you want to borrow my books? Hmm. What would you do without Wi-Fi? Or without any power? I brought a yo-yo. Oh, perfect.
Okay, power is back on. I think Keenan's still happily enjoying his game, so I'll probably keep reading. And Keenan also wants some hot dogs, so maybe we'll have some food and then finish the movie. Okay, Keenan is making hot dogs for lunch and so or for dinner. I think I'm gonna try this vegan mac and cheese, and I cannot remember the last time I had mac and cheese. I never make mac and cheese. It doesn't look very appetizing, but... Good morning. I feel so tired today. I, my sister had a very long day yesterday, so she wanted to watch like, a feel-good movie. So I didn't get to sleep until like 1. And that's the latest I've been awake in a long, long time. So... But today, I'd like to get ready and feel cute just to combat the... Of this and... I'll probably watch another movie, probably tidy up my room, have my Sunday reset. Kino wants me to check my budget. <laughs> bye bye. Two on the bed? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was one big one. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> How do you feel now that we're done, Harry Potter? Oh, finally. <gasps> really? No, I liked it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it a few times. Yeah. We grew up with them. Now Lord of the Rings. <sighs> I sat through eight movies because <laughs> of the three. They're so long. Can we just not watch the extended versions? Those are the best versions. What? There's nothing. Nothing happens. There. This is extra content. <laughs> More content. Okay. Nothing. Okay, nothing happens. Fine. You can watch the non-extended. <laughs> I've never actually watched Lord of the Rings all the way through, and I keep falling asleep when we try. They are so long, and there's just nothing happening. Like... No, they are so long. No, no. They're three hours. They're... I'm on the edge of my seat the entire time. <laughs> they're so long, I really struggle to get through them. And there's just no girls. There's, like, two girls. There are two girls, yeah, and I'm just did. watching a bunch of men walk around yeah. making silly decisions. You love men. Just making bad decisions. Oh. They make great decisions. No, they don't. They're battling evil. Uh. Hello. I realised I have not spoken to the camera very much today. Keenan has just gone home. I opened the door for him and it was freezing. So it hasn't warmed up. 
But today we also just did a bunch of movies. I washed my hair, put new bedding on, or like clean bedding. And then I also set up my journal for the week. So I've got my habit tracker. And again, I've said this before, but it's like, it's not stuff that I do every day. <laughs> some of it is every day and some of it's more like a curiosity piece of like, how often am I washing my hair? Am I listening to musical podcasts this week? That sort of thing. And then I've added this new feature um, where it's basically like things I want to do on the Sunday and it's kind of to prep me for the week. So this week I did laundry, my calendar, which I did, um, the journal spread for this week, cleaning my room and then something to inspire me and something to relax. So I checked all of those off today. We watched, we finished our Harry Potter marathon and then we also watched the first of the Fantastic Beasts films, which I don't actually think I've seen that whole series, but we watched that one with dinner tonight and yeah, I have never, like, I can't remember the last time I just didn't leave the house or didn't like actively do things for a weekend other than if I was sick. It was quite jarring and honestly I think like my back hurts from not moving so that will be a a priority this week I think will be some movement <laughs> but yeah I think this will be a pretty short video just because last week's did sort of take it out of me and I didn't really prepare much it was really just going to be a, a cozy do nothing at home and that is what it was but if you guys have any requests or suggestions for videos over the next few months please let me know um it's my birthday coming up in February so I'll probably vlog a little bit to do with that I think next week I'm thinking of doing a work-life balance vlog again because you guys seem to like those ones. <laughs> so yeah, any suggestions, please let me know. I will be happy to gain inspiration from you lovely folks. Got makeup under my eye. Whoopsies. Yeah, it was not a very healthy weekend. Literally like watching movies and eating like not great food. So whatever. It's all about balance, right? <laughs> Some days you're on it and some days this is as good as it's gonna get so um no complaints but thank you guys for watching if you did sorry it wasn't very interesting and yeah if you could give me the likes and the subscribes the comments they all really help i appreciate it i hate asking for it but i really appreciate it it makes me very very happy whenever i look on my uh, profile so thank you for everyone who does i appreciate you and keep them coming and otherwise, I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a lovely week ahead. And yeah, thank you for watching.